What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here. Welcome to a special edition video. This is a Nerdy Noob in the Kitchen. I actually don't think that's a real series, but uh, it is today. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, know that lately I've been a little bit obsessed with whipped coffee. It's called like, honestly, I don't remember, like Dalagona or something like that. I don't really remember. Um, I don't even drink a lot of coffee, but you guys know I'm a tea drinker. But I tried this recipe and I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect amount of, when I do drink coffee, it's like the perfect amount of like coffee taste and sweetener. And then like when I drink it with the milk, it like, it's just like perfect for me. And this recipe is super easy. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to make it just in case you guys were wondering. Let me show you guys what I have here. Pardon the mess. I'm filming with my phone too. So this is kind of crazy. Okay. So I don't have a hand mixer. You can actually whisk this by hand, but I tried it one day and I was not good at it. So I'm using the whisk attachment on my immersion blender. This is an immersion blender I got from Costco for like $20. Um, but you can use a hand mixer or you can whisk it by hand. So you need that, a whisk, some kind of whisk, sugar, um, some kind of instant coffee. So all the instant coffee at, at Target is sold out right now. I don't know. I think this is instant coffee. This is some kind of, it says instant well, it looks like espresso, but I think that might mean coffee in, I guess, Spanish. I don't really know what this is, but um, this one has worked and I've looked up recipes and they say that they've used this brand too and it works. So, but you can really use any instant coffee. Dana used Folgers one time and said that it was a little bit bitter. So I guess that kind of matters. And then I also just heated up some hot water. So you basically just need hot water, sugar, and instant coffee. Sorry, this probably isn't the best view, but this is what I'm gonna go with. Um, one of the cool things is I forgot that this immersion blender actually came with this container. I've been using this thing in a bowl and it splatters all the time, but now I can use this and it just keeps it a little bit cleaner, which is nice. Hopefully you guys can see. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna do a sugar first. So I'm gonna do, um, and it's equal parts. So you can do this with as much as you want, but I'm gonna use two tablespoons. That's just the recipe I used, or I learned originally, is two tablespoons of each thing. So I'm doing two tablespoons of sugar, and then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this instant coffee. And there's some kind of like chemical reaction or something in instant coffee that makes this work. I don't know the full scientific like reasoning, but I just know that it works. And then we're gonna put two tablespoons of our hot water. This helps dissolve everything. One, two. Okay. And now the fun part. So even though this, this little cup is actually meant for this, although I think it's meant for the immersion uh, blender attachment, it still splatters. So I still put a, um, a piece of paper towel over it. I'm gonna try this, this method today where I took two paper towels and I split the thing down the middle. I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, oh, you're not even gonna be able to see it actually. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Well, let's just see. Okay. I'm trying to see how you can actually see this. Well, we'll do it like this. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna block it like this cause it's gonna splatter. It's gonna be kind of loud, but we're gonna go ahead and blend this. And we're just gonna keep blending it. People, sometimes people are wondering like, how do you know how long to blend it for? I, when it gets really light in color, that's when in, in like a fluffy consistency, that's when I would say that it's ready to go. As you can see, it's actually already pretty fluffy, um, but it's not there yet. It's still a little bit dark in color, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. It's peaking a little bit, and you probably could stop here. I'm gonna keep going a little. I'm gonna turn it down a little lower to see if I can just kind of fluff it up a little more. So that's pretty, a pretty good consist consistency right there. Um, I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm good with that. I don't know if it's possible to over whip this. And that's what I always get worried about, to be honest, is like, I don't wanna over whip it. Um, so let's go ahead, take that off. Now, here's how I normally serve this. I take a glass and then I'm gonna fill it with milk. And just remember, this is like a full serving of espresso. I actually put a decent amount of milk in here because it's pretty strong. It's a lot of fluff. Um, and I usually end up adding a little bit more milk after I drink a little bit of this milk. So I'm gonna do like that much. Although if you really think about it, lattes are usually like all milk and just a little bit of espresso. I'm gonna 
grab a spoon and then we're gonna go ahead and scoop this in. I will say this is probably not the fluffiest one I've ever made. I think there was one that I did last week that was a little bit fluffier, but this one, this one's actually pretty fluffy. This is a pretty good consistency. It's kind of late in the night to be drinking this, but I was craving it because I haven't had it for a couple days. Okay, so there you have it. It's my whipped coffee with um, some milk on the bottom. And usually how I end up drinking this is like the first like 10 sips, what I do is I try to, honestly, I try to like stick my tongue in there so I can make a little pathway so I can get milk and some of the whipped coffee. And then once I feel like I've had enough of that, I usually will actually mix it in together because it makes this really frothy kind of coffee drink, which I really enjoy. My favorite part of coffee drinks is usually kind of the, the foam. So this is a little bit thicker now on the thicker end, but this is what you have. It takes a second when the glass is this full to get to the milk. Um, ooh, it has a really good coffee flavor. For me, the sweetness is perfect. You can probably put less sugar if you don't want it this sweet or more sugar if you want it sweeter, but this is like the perfect amount for me. And yeah, this coffee is a really good kind of foamy texture. Let me get this spoon. Um, you can see that it's, 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 it's not as thick as whipped cream. It's like almost as thick as whipped cream but it's like really thick foam that I, I, I just really enjoy that a lot. So it is a little bit on the warmer end still because of the hot water. Um, I have seen people put like ice, like their milk and ice and then put it over. But, um, but yeah, this is delicious. Again, I'm not too much of a coffee drinker. So this is a lot of coffee for me. Um, I drink a lot of the milk now. I still have a good amount of foam. So now what I would do is I'm gonna pour more milk into this cup and I'm probably gonna try to kind of mix it in, kind of fold the coffee into the milk. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill this up with enough milk just to get to the top-ish. And then I'm gonna take my super messy spoon that has coffee all over it. And I'm gonna slowly just fold the coffee into the milk. Oops, this takes a second because obviously the cup's really full and the milk just tends to go on the bottom because it's heavier. Um, but when you get a good mix on this, it it makes it like, it's just like such a good tasting frothy kind of drink. I don't know if I have enough milk in this. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so frothy. It's very strong in the coffee flavor right now. So I think once I take a few sips, I'm gonna add a little bit more a little bit more milk, but this is like an iced coffee, but frothy. There's definitely still a bit more like, more of the milky liquidy on the on the bottom because it doesn't fully mix. Um, but yeah, it's so good. Actually, I don't need to add any more milk. This is perfect. This is why I feel like a, an actual like latte or macchiato tastes like, where it is foamier on the top, so it's a thin foam. And then I've got like the coffee type, the coffee mixed milk on the bottom. So if I get a little bit of the foam and the milk, the liquidy milk, it's delicious. All right, guys, that's it. Literally, so simple. Like, one of the easiest things that I've ever made. Like, I like drinking tea. This is my iced tea maker. Now that I'm about to be done filming, I'm gonna turn it on. But even tea, I feel like, is more of a struggle to make. Like, iced tea is more of a struggle to make than this. Like, this is super simple. I mean, it's simple because I have an electric whisk. I think if I had to do it by hand, it would be different. Uh, but if you have all these, these are all like, actually, I had to buy the coffee because I don't own instant coffee. But other than that, I mean, I think these are pretty normal ingredients. You just need sugar and hot water and a whisk. And so it's like, and milk probably. But yeah, kind of a fun thing to do. And it's delicious. I heard you can do it with like hot chocolate powder, but I haven't tried that. So maybe that will be an adventure that I try with the kids. I think that'd be fun. I don't know if you have to add more sugar to that though, because usually hot chocolate has sugar in it. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys make your own whipped coffee, uh, take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.